so welcome back once again in this section we are going to discuss about agglutination incubation reactions so this reaction is a modifi modified version or modif modification of agglutination reaction a modification of uh, modif modified form of agglutination reaction that is agglutination incubation so in this reaction uh, it is based on the competition between the particulated and soluble antigen for a limited antibody binding site so in this reaction or in this uh, in this type of reaction there will be a commutation between both particulated and the soluble antigen so here both uh, particulated and uh, soluble antigen is involved and uh, for a or combit for a limited antibody binding site so as a result agglutination reaction takes place and this pro and this is a highly sensitive assay for a small quantities of an antigen this uh, so this reaction is highly sensitive then for the next is uh, for the agglutination incubation reaction the best example for this is home pregnancy kit that is early type home pregnancy kit so this home pregnancy in the home pregnancy kit it contains two things that is lattice particle coated with the hcg hcg means we are already familiar with hcg that is human chorionic gonadotropin that is an hormone that is produced during the pregnancy only and uh, that is hcg and next one is antibody to this hcg that is anti hcg antibody so these are the two things that present in the pregnancy kit and this uh, kit is employed with heptane incubation okay uh, this kit is employed with heptane incubation and this helps to determine and, or using this uh, test kit it helps to determine the presence or absence of hcg based on the visible clumping or formation of agglut agglutination uh, agglutination or visible clumping formation is based and only the pregnant woman urine containing hcg so this will help to uh, determine whether she is pregnant or not uh, now let us look how this takes place so this is uh, an overall reaction how the uh, test is carried out in the pregnancy test kit uh, pregnancy kit pregnancy kit and the uh, test is done by yeah, I already said that uh, this kit contains lattice particle coated with HCG that is HCG carrier conjugate this is the HCG carrier conjugate and uh, next one is uh, and the HCG antibodies these are the two things present in the kit and now in the case of uh, if uh, in the case or uh, if the if we are taking a urine sample that doesn't contain hcg or hcg is absent in the urine then here in this case only the reaction takes place only between this and the hcg antibodies that is uh, that is represented by this y that is and the hcg antibodies okay okay this is the anti hcg antibodies so these are the anti hcg antibodies and it gets combined with the lattice that is conjugate carrier hcg conjugate carrier that is this and forms agglutination so both this uh, antibody and the hcg uh, carrier conjugates binds together and as a result of their reaction they forms agglutination or visible clamping is formed so this formation or presence of this agglutination indicates the negative test so the formation or in a presence indicates the negative test that is she is not which indicates that she is not pregnant whereas in the case of uh, or if we are taking the urine sample with which contain no hcg is present in it so in this case the reaction is taking place by step by step that is by first it will reacts with the hcg present in the urine that is by this pink dots uh, this will first gets binds with the anti hcg antibodies 
and HCG antibody site gets binds and forms like this and after this formation then they will bind subsequently binds with the uh, HCG carriers HCG conjugate carriers and as a result no agglutination no uh, visible clamping is formed which indicates uh, that positive test or shows the positive test so this uh, if there is no visible clamping or formation of agglutination it indicates a positive test that shows she is pregnant and so this is how uh, I already explained how the um, test is uh, of the reaction is taking place and as a, uh, if there is no visible clamping of course uh, that means there is no agglutination indicates the positive that the woman is pregnant if there is if there is agglutination formation or visible clamping is occur then it is a negative test that forms she is not pregnant and this uh, same um, method can we can also use for or this agglutination inhibition reaction so can be also used to determine some other uh, uh, some other cases that it can also use to determine whether an individual individual or person is using certain types of drugs illegal drugs like cocaine heroin etc we can identify by or detect them by or uh, through this agglutination inhibition reaction and also we can uh, in laboratories we can determine whether an individual, individual or a person is exposed to certain types of viruses. If uh, if we have a uh, if we have a doubt with regarding some infection with virus, uh, so we can determine whether it is expo whether the person is exposed with such viruses by the cause by the formation of agglutination of red blood cells so these are the two other two other uses of agglutination inhibition reactions now we are going to the factors affecting the antigen antibody reactions so there are three factors which affect this if which affect their interactions they are temperature pH and ionic strength so first one is temperature so for for the optimum temperature for an antibody and is an interaction or reaction it is depends upon their chemical nature epitope and the type of bond involved in their reaction so the temperature the optimum temperature is depends upon the chemical nature epitope pa, uh, chemical nature of epitope paratope and the type of bonds involved in the reaction and for for example uh, that is Hydrogen bond formation tends to be exothermic. That is, uh, the uh, in some cases hydrogen bond formation, it is tended to be exothermic, and these bonds are more suitable at low temperature, but may be more uh, may be more important while dealing with carbohydrate antigens. So hydrogen bond formation is an exothermic, and it is uh, so here the temperature required will be very low temperature. The next is next factor is pH. pH the effective pH range or uh, uh, the pH range for the antigen antibody reaction occurs at the range of six point five and between six point five and eight point four. This is the range pH range for an antigen antibody reaction or complex formation lysis effective antigen antibody complex formation lies between these ranges below the 6.5 and above the 8.4 the antibody antigen antigen antibody reactions highly restricted or strongly inhibited above or below to this values and under the extreme pH conditions antibodies may undergo conformational changes that can destroy the complementarity with the antigen so pH uh, extreme pH conditions can also worsen their interactions or also uh, leads to their 
conformational changes which will destroy or uh, which will interrupt their interactions the next uh, factor is ionic strength so ionic strength is particularly in, uh, particularly important in blood grouping serology so ionic strength so this factor is much more important in the case of blood grouping serology here in the reaction is influenced by in the in this case the reaction is influenced by the sodium and chlo chloride ions it is well known that when exposed to very low ionic strength gamma globins aggregate and forms reversible complex with a lipoprotein of the red blood cells leading to their sedimentation so hence the uh, ionic strength forms an another important factor for the and is an antibody interactions that's all thank you